Hey guys, I hope you're all having a good weekend. Um, this video has been requested by a lot of people to do a tutorial on how to apply blush and bronzer. So, um, right now I've got on some the um, Maybelline Mineral Power Foundation and um, earlier in the day I had swept on like a little bit of bronzer so there's really not much on my face so it'll be sort of like we're starting fresh with it. But um, the first thing that you need to make sure you have is a fluffy powder brush. Um, this is this was one that I just got from, or I've had for a while from Walmart, and the bristles are kind of tapered from the outside to the inside, but it's just really soft, and you can see it's pretty big. Um, so the first thing I would do, like after I put my foundation on, um, whether it's mineral or whatever. Um, I would go to some bronzer, and this one is like a matte bronzer. It's Bonnie Bell Powder Bronze in Golden Tan, um, available at most any drugstore. And um, get a little bit on your brush here. Just kind of tap it, not too much. You gotta have a really light touch with bronzer, and work um, around the forehead, onto the top of the cheeks, down on the chin. So I'm starting here. And keep in mind, this is a matte bronzer here. And you want to make sure you blend down your jawline. Like, here's my jawline, and I'm going to blend downward a little bit. Um, that way you make sure you're not creating a mask on yourself. And make sure you also go down the bridge of your nose and hit that area as well. Okay, because you're thinking about, when you're talking about bronzer, it's like you're applying a tan to yourself. So you want to make sure you're hitting the areas that the sun would really uh, touch you. So this is kind of like this matte bronzer step is that I use is just kind of like going all over the face and getting it um, to a just a slightly darker skin tone. Then I take something that's a little deeper and a little more shimmery and I'm probably going to have to get another one soon. It's, it's the Wet n Wild Bronzer in Bally Bronze and this is what it looks like. It's kind of a deep shimmery shade and you have to have a really light touch with this because a lot of you will get a lot of color payoff. But get a little on the brush and then really don't go necessarily all over the face with this. Just concentrate on really those areas that the sun's going to hit. So your temples and just kind of blend it out. And I use mineral bronzers sometimes too, which are good. I like Maybelline's Mineral Power one. I'm just not using it in this uh, demonstration. And then think since this has shimmer in it. Where would you want to shimmer? Well, on top of your cheekbones a little bit. Okay. And then I just continue to work it down. Um, it's good to kind of blend down, especially if you are you have a top where your, um, yeah, your decollete area shows a little bit. Um, you want to make sure you blend down there. Okay. So those are the two steps of bronzer that I use. I usually use a matte one and kind of go all over the face and then a... Um, shimmery one that I will just highlight certain areas. Okay, then for blush, I'm going to use my blush brush, which is, this is a, I think it's a discontinued Revlon one, but it's about this size on my face, and I generally use two shades of blush. Um, the two that I've been using for a while now are CoverGirl Cheekers in Plumberry Glow, okay, that's this one. It's a nice, it's a pretty bright pink shade, actually. And then the other shade is CoverGirl Cheekers in Golden Pink. Okay, and this is just kind of a nice, uh, deep contour shade. So first I'm going to take my lighter shade, get some on the brush here, and I'm going to smile and work it into the apples of my cheeks only. Okay, apples and just up just a little bit. Not all over my face by any means. So I'm going to smile and... Work it up here, but mainly concentrate right there on the apples, okay? Do the same thing on the other side. This has a teeny bit of shimmer to it, too, this blush. You just really kind of work it in. Circular motions are always good for blending. Okay, then I'm going to take the golden pink shade, the darker one, and this is going to be used as a contour shade. I've heard from a lot of makeup artists that say you really need to use two shades of blush, um, especially if you're looking for any kind of contoured look. And when I say contour, I don't mean like let's make a streak on the side of our face, but it's just a matter of enhancing your cheekbones, really. 
So I'm going to dip into this with a pretty light touch here. I'm not going to, I'm not by any means like swirling this around in here. I'm just tapping onto it. And then um, what you're looking for, you may want to make a face like this. It kind of helps you see where you're going for here. Um, I'm pretty sure I know, <laughs> I know where my part is since I've done this enough. But you're kind of going right just under the cheekbone area here and blending kind of circular and see now you've gotten a little more um, a little more standout cheekbone there and if you want while you have you know most of the color has worked off of your brush after you've done this when you've pretty much got a bare brush left kind of just circular motion down throughout the lower part of your jawline that what that'll do is just you know, make sure you don't have any sort of a harsh line there. So just repeat that on the other side. And I'm just going do a back and forth kind of motion here. And you can always go back for more blush, so don't over overdo the first time. You get it on there and then just kind of after you've most of it's worked off your brush, kind of circular motion down the side of your cheeks and so now you've got your blush going on and then um, when you really want to make sure your your whole look is flawless when you're all done I recommend going over it with some sort of mineral veil like from Bare Minerals even if you didn't use mineral makeup that's a really great touch um, you can also use the finishing powder from Maybelline Mineral Power but to, since today it's kind of a we're really kind of going for that bronze look I'm going to use a um, just sort of a general shimmer powder that I have. Um, it's not super shimmery, but they call it an illuminating powder. It's Wet n Wild's Mega Glow in Catwalk Pink. And this is me. You can see the color a little better. See, I think those would be really pretty uh, eyeshadow shades, too. But what I'm going to do is take my big brush again, just kind of sweep it, pat it all over all the colors, and then just kind of go over my entire face with it. Okay. All right, and then that kind of just makes your whole look. And you can see I didn't use very much, but I feel like it makes the whole look look a little more finished and blended together and everything. So, um, oh, one more step. Um, I think you guys would probably remember me saying that I didn't like Elf's bronzing powder very well. I have it in warm tan. Um, I think it part of it was the brush I was using it with too. I just I was using the Elf. Um, all over face brush or whatever and I just feel like I, this is very loosely milled and I feel like when you put a brush in it it sometimes is too much you know you wouldn't and, and I don't really use this on my face but I have found a use when I'm all done with my doing my bronzer on my face and I just want a little more glow up here I just take my big um, powder brush dip it in there and then you can use this as sort of a bronzer um, around your collarbone area and all up in here and even your shoulders a little bit you know it can just make you look a little more finished and ready to go and doesn't take a lot of real <laughs> blending it's just you know you're taking whatever fluffy brush you got and kind of working it over that area and that kind of just helps to finish the look so I have found a use for the elf bronzer so if you guys have one too and you thought man maybe I don't really like this on my face it is kind of nice for um, just kind of a shimmery glow on the rest of your body too. So I hope this has helped you guys uh, just get some ideas maybe for application of bronzer and blush and how matte and shimmer can work together and how um, two shades of blush can really work together to give you a natural but um, finished look. So thanks for watching.